Hello, my name is Joel Lababa, and I am the Franchise King. Today, I want to talk about being first, as in being the first franchisee in your area. Let, no, let, let's go even deeper than that. Let's go even like crazier. How about being the first franchisee of a franchise concept that was just introduced? Would you ever do that? Interesting, I, uh, I was talking to uh, a client of mine a couple months ago who was looking at a really interesting franchise involving uh, uh, sports. And, and he was telling me that they're just about to have uh, the opening of their first franchise unit in the entire country. I think they're opening it in Denver. And I said to him, I said, well, <laughs> at least you're not the first. And he laughed and I said, oh, I'll tell you. I don't know about you, but I, I would not want to be the first franchisee, the first franchise owner of a concept anywhere in the country. Now, maybe that has to do with my personality. I am what you would call a mild to medium risk taker. Uh, and, and the gentleman, my client, uh, also said that he was kind of a medium uh, risk taker, maybe even a little higher than medium. But even then, he said, there was no way. I don't, I don't think I would really want to be the first franchisee. Now, you know, you read on the internet, uh, you, you see an advertisement sometimes, you know, ground floor opportunity. Well, that's what a ground floor opportunity is. Uh, uh, a, a new franchise concept uh, that was just introduced where there are no franchisees. Now, the good part, the positive of being the first franchise, the franchisee is that uh, there is open territory, virtually limitless, everywhere from Alaska to Florida and Hawaii. Uh, so you can open anywhere that, they, that the, the franchisor is legally registered and you have your first choice of territory. So that would be great. Um, uh, the, another positive is that you may, not guaranteed, you may be able to be um, more entrepreneurial. You, your ideas, because you're the first franchisee, you're on the street, really working the business, your ideas may turn out to be ideas that other franchisees get to use because you and the franchisor are really one-on-one. -on -one. You're talking one-on-one. -on -one. You're talking all the time. The franchisor wants you to succeed and, and is watching you and is learning and maybe tweaking the system because of you and because of your input. So that's, you know, that, that's a positive. Uh, uh, a couple negatives. The negatives uh, include it could be awful risky to be the first franchise owner. I'm not, I'm not slamming young franchise concepts, but um, it, it, it's a question that you really need to ask yourself. Do you want to be first? Do you want to take the risk? There's a lot of what ifs. What if the concept turns out to be a fad? What if the concept has not really been vetted and it's really not viable? You know, so there are a lot of things. You could lose your money. Uh, another negative is that the operations manual, um, the whole system might not be real tight, like uh, like maybe a McDonald's or Burger King system, which has been around for a long, long time. You know, these are franchise systems that have been uh, proven to work and, and which have really rigid systems in place, where a young franchisor may have systems in place and they may be semi-proven because, you know, they've already run the business as an independent and now have turned it into a franchise. But still, there might be a lot of tweaks that need to be done. And even though you may be uh, able to help with those tweaks, it still might not be that, 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 that finely tuned uh, machine that you want in a franchise. So it's something to think about. Nothing wrong with wanting to be the first franchisee or becoming the first franchisee of a new concept. It could be kind of cool. And if it works out, I mean, it could be a home run for you because you may be able to buy additional territories uh, quickly if you find that this thing could be hot and, and, and could be rocking and rolling fast. So there are some positives, but there are some negatives. The best thing to know, the best thing to know about franchising is that there are systems in place. And, and if you follow them, you have a reasonably good chance of being successful as long as you, you know, you're buying a franchise within your budget, uh, the franchise uh, owner. Uh, activities fit what you're really good at, so so it can be a really good thing. Franchising is 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 a good is, is a good is a great is the best business model uh, if you're the right person that wants to follow the rules. But ask yourself, when do you want to get in? Do you want to be first? Do you want to get in after maybe there's 10 or 15 franchisees already? 
and and they're really getting it together or do you want to be in a mature franchise which already has a brand name and which the systems are proven but it is really really rigid i mean there's really not much flexibility so decide where you want to get in and of course i can help you i can help you figure out when you should get in if the concepts you're looking at are viable etc and i'll link to my uh my page where you can get a complimentary phone call with me to decide if franchising is for you if you're headed the right direction etc 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 my name is joel lababa i'm the franchise king ask yourself do you want to be first thanks for watching